Hello everyone. This is my first video on painting and uh, I'm doing abstract painting in this video. Okay. So as you can see here there are two paintings the one this is real one and this one is in my mobile i'm going to make this painting today see here this painting don't have any background it is just white white background so we can leave the background white if our sheet is white or we can paint the background with completely white color okay but it's up to your choice okay but uh, as this is my tutorial video so i will fill the background with these colors means we will take background from this picture and the main picture or main body we will take from this picture okay we are not making the five flamingos we are going to make seven flamingos like this and background will be like this okay so i keep this picture near to me open and near to me and what else i'm taking one acrylic painting sheet okay this was the pad and the pad is going to finish only two sheets are left i'll just take one okay and what colors we need as you can see here for water and the background we need blue color to make the lighter shades we will need the white color brown color brown color uh, yes if we have brown color shades then uh, we can take as i have here light brown and the dark brown so okay so we can do with that the pink color pink color i don't have so what i'm going to do i'm going to use this red color actually this is not pure red color this is crimson red lake okay uh but okay i will mix the white color in that to make the pink okay and uh, black color for the legs okay so let's start okay so as i told you we will make the background like this in abstract painting we know there is no need of giving the fine finishing we can just tap the brush or we can just spray the brush bristles okay so that we will get the rough finishing because in abstract painting the viewer have to assume or viewer have to think about how does it going to look like okay this is not the fine picture this is abstract picture okay abstract painting not this is fine point brush this we will use for the eyes and the legs for fine finishing okay this flat broad brush we will use to give the background this arrow pointed brush soft angle okay so we will use this brush to make the peak why as you can see it is its bristles its bristles are spread it away how and why because with this brush we are going to tap like we'll dip it in the paint and we will do the tapping like this okay it will broad it, the bristles have to spread away okay so 
good and two cups of water to clean the brush one by one according to this drawing we will divide the sheet into four parts assume this is half and we don't touch the upper half this is done okay if you want you can make dark lines i made the fine lines okay so we will start the water shading here this palette came when i brought the painting kit and that, that is very light means that is very dark blue color so i will add white color in that We are going to make the background. Okay. So what we are going to do is I have dipped my brush in the water and mixing the color here. Because and I am using acrylic colors. Okay. Why I am using water? so that color will get spread nicely we can spread the color easily okay easily finely and evenly okay so let's start the darker shade down from the okay so let's start get perfect lines okay because you can we can assume that the water waves are going up and down up and down okay okay in the same way we need uh, some green color so that we can give the algae look okay algae in the sea right so take some green color i have taken this dark green color on the tip i'll dip it in the water and dip and then i'll mix it nicely yeah take some more water brown color brown color for what brown color for giving the sand view beach view beach view okay so again i am not washing my brush because i want the mix of all the colors okay i don't want perfect brown okay i have taken here initially we will mix all the colors we will what we are going to do this blending blending of colors okay everything is going to be mixed up okay Okay, now what is? 
so now i am going to clean my brush see we have already blue color here okay so in that blue color we will mix the white color to give the sky look okay so let's wash the brush nicely wash off all the colors take the same blue and the same white okay blue a drop of blue and a drop of oh no two drops of white okay while coming down we will make the color more lighter and lighter and lighter so we need to keep on mixing white color i'll take the white color in my brush close the color mix the color with the blue some more white as you go down take the water if the color is not mixing well and when you reach to the separation of sea and sky instead of spreading your brush like this you can spread the brush like this you can move the brush like that okay so okay if we have anything left just make it all everywhere even evenly spread it evenly so whatever color is there Spread it nicely. See? You can tap it. Somewhere you can tap it. So what will happen if the lines are there? See the you can see the clear lines. They will go away. Okay. okay. Okay, so we have to start with the flamingo. To make the flamingos, I have I have used three drops of my red color, this red color, and two drops of white color. Okay, and uh, four five drops of water to mix them nicely. And now start. Okay, dip the brush which you have to tap. or punch vertically okay dip in the water take out the excess oh sorry dip in the color take out the excess paint and then start spreading here okay let's we have to make seven flamingos okay approximately 1 2 3 4 5 6 and let's make 7 here okay so we will we have to punch randomly and the color is spreading don't worry about that that's what we want okay you can do like this also spread the color no worries okay the brush like this okay don't worry about it this is ex abstract painting okay just keep going now we have to make the lighter shade again make the shade lighter and lighter 
take the white color have to make seven head seven necks okay one starts from here one then second will be little down third will be little high I'm using this brush okay this was little broader and this is a little broader not that much broader as the previous one okay with this I will give more highlights to the neck okay I have taken this some white on the tip and then I will mix it nicely I take some water mix it nicely is having some white or need some light pink of shed we can tap like this I'm cleaning my brush and I will make the beaks and the legs with this this brush one drop and second drop of black because we have to make the beaks eyes and legs
okay so this is done but we have to give the finishing touch we have to give the shading to their head the shading to their head so just take the white color mix it in the pink color mix it nicely mix it nicely This gives the shading that this is the top of the flamingo and more light is falling on the top side okay so the top part is more brighter as compared to other parts okay yeah after finishing this uh, lighter part now we can make the eyes okay so we have to take the finest brush or or you can take the earbud also okay but right now i don't have earbud near to me close to me so i'm just using this fine pointed brush just just we will make eyes just next to the beak here 